vocabulary skills impact and improve our English language usage more than most of us may be aware of. A synonym is a word or a phrase that means exactly or nearly the same as another word or phrase in the same language. Here are a few very basic words, such as confused is baffled and caring is compassionate, that work as synonyms together that may help you recognize more complex synonyms in your future work. Now, let's move on to antonyms. An antonym is simply a word that is opposite in meaning to another word. Examples of antonyms are also easy to recognize and develop, such as hot is to cold, day is to night, and happy is to sad. Now we'll cover prefixes and suffixes. A prefix is a word part added at the beginning of a base word to change the meaning of that word. A prefix is added to a base word and can then form the meaning to not do something, to do something beforehand, or to do something again. If you can remember what a prefix does, then you should be able to remember the role of a suffix, which is added to the end of a word to form a new word. Suffixes can make words plural, past tense, a verb form, or they can show action or process or the condition of something. Next we'll discuss homophones, which are those words that sound the same, but they have different spellings and different meanings. These can be confusing, but they get much easier with practice. A couple of common homophones are red, as in the color of something, and red, as in I read a good book last night, or one, as in she won the race, and one, as in the number. Last, we'll cover some idioms. These are fun because they're expressions that don't exactly mean what they say. One of my favorites to use is, man, that costs an arm and a leg. Now everyone knows that you don't really pay for an item with your arm and your leg, but saying it that way expresses that an item costs a lot of money. That's all we're going to cover today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and find these vocabulary skills fun and helpful in many ways.